<laughs> Let's move to the next one. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Look, look at you. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Hi you guys. <laughs> Whoa, I feel so underdressed right now. I, no, look at those shoes. Those are fantastic Thank shoes. You. Little Wayne bought me those. Really? Yeah, shout out to yeah, him. Yeah, he should be buying you all kinds of things because exactly. you're doing well for him. He, he kind of discovered you, right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, he, and I'm signed to his label, Young Money. Uh -huh. Young Money, Cash Money, yeah. Yeah, you're doing very well for, for everybody. I mean, 375000 is first week. Now it's gone platinum, right? Right, it's uh, it's certified it's certified platinum, yeah. It's shipped a million so far. That's incredible. Yeah, in the U.S. That's yeah, incredible. You. <laughs> you are... You're 26 years old, and, yeah. and you started at what age? Uh, I don't... I, I think I was, like, making up weird raps when I was, like, 11 years old. 11. But, like, officially starting, I would say, I don't know, I was maybe, like, 17 when I really thought I could, you know, maybe give this a try. So it's been a really, really long time trying to do this. But it's hard to be, uh, you know, in the, the rap world is very male-dominated. To, to try to get into the rap world as a female and to be this successful... Is he, did you think that this could... Did you, like, visualize this for yourself? Um, well, n I mean, never did I think I'd be sitting on the couch with Ellen. Like, I remember your first show ever, and I told my mother, I swear to God, you guys, I told my mother, because I always loved you, and I said, you know what, she's going to be on the air for a long time, because just, just seeing your first show. And I today I'm thinking, like, I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> like, I, you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to do well, but I didn't see, like, you know, I couldn't foresee all of this stuff happening this at all. This kind of success. And this yeah. is just the beginning. I mean, this is it. Hopefully. A, and, and, and what people don't know about you, you're from where? I was born in Trinidad, Trinidad. And, I, and I grew up in New York. Right, in Trinidad, and you had a very, very tough childhood. Yeah, yeah. You want to share a little bit? Because I think that's always... For me, the reason to share it is to, to let other young girls or boys out there that are, are having a situation with their family like that to know you can get out of it and be okay. Absolutely. Um, well, I think everybody knows, because I had a documentary on MTV, that um, my father battled, like, drugs and alcohol for, you know, most of my life. And, you know, I, like, we moved a lot, you know. We were always kind of in fear that he was going to be violent and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I would just lock myself up. And as I got older, I would just lock myself up in my, in my room and write. So they wouldn't really know what I was doing. They just heard, like, the music playing over and over. And that was, like, my escape. I would just write or I'd go in my car and write. And I was, right. You know. So it, but is it OK to share with the, the dream your mother had, uh, this premonition? And oh, that, yeah, that she, that she had a dream that the house was going to get burned down. And then, sure enough, my father tried to burn the house down with her in it. But me and my brother weren't there. And she know, knew like a, she had this dream and said, "Go sleep somewhere else yeah, this night." And yeah, and and, he and really she got did out. Try, yeah, he got she got out on time. Thank God. Okay, so your mother, I because I'm very close with my mother. Your mother means the, the world to world, you. The world, the world to me. Everything I do is for her. Yeah. So your 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 goal is to to take care of her and make sure she's happy. And <laughs> yes. Um, just uh, also, I want to find out about the si situation with you have many, many different uh, alter egos, right? Oh, oh, yes. Roman is one, and then you Roman have... Roman is one, uh, Barbie is one. She's like the little innocent girl. Um, I have Martha, who's Roman's mother. She's like a crazy per lady from London. And actually, <laughs> actually, she's going to date, she's going to make her debut in the video that I just shot with Drake. It's for a song called Moment for Life. Mm -hmm. So we just shot that video, and Martha, like, you'll actually see Martha in the video. It's going to oh. be kind of weird. Great. I, I can't, <laughs> can't wait to see her. Thank um, you. All right, and it's good that he's with his mom, that, yes. that Roman has his mom with him. Uh, all right, so uh, the name of the CD is Pink Friday. Everybody in the audience is getting a copy. Yeah. You're going to have a copy. Nikki's going to perform. We're back with Sophia, Grace, and Rosie. And the only thing is, during the break, they're very shy. That's the only problem. They need to come out of their shells. That's the only thing. OK, so um, you two are just so magnificent. I just, I just, I, I just love you so much. And uh, you said that you love Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. Do you want to meet her? Yeah. Come on out, Nikki.
Within five seconds of seeing this video, I was calling everyone I knew, and I was also receiving a billion emails. Everyone is like, you have to see this little girl. She blew me away. Do you know, I have a hype man, and you have a hype girl. Yeah. <laughs> I said, superstar. Yes. Seriously, we feel like we're watching a journey that's about to be like amazing, right? Yes. I mean, you are incredible. I just want you to stay in school, the both of you. Music is, music is beautiful, but I want you to stay in school, okay? Put your books first. some gifts so you can look more like Nikki. <laughs> Let's take your, take your tiaras off. Can you take your tiara off? If I just pull this off. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to do that, so okay, I'm glad you did it. Here, hold on. Thank you. <laughs> Call at the last minute, right? Yeah, we called you this morning, so thank you so much. Thank, yeah, you know what? But I also want to take them on a shopping spree tomorrow. I want to send both of you on a shopping spree to get all the stuff that you want, whether it's books, book bags, pencils, clothes, <laughs> guitars, whatever you want. Cars, okay? anything. Cars, Cars houses. Yeah. I want the album. Uh, she wants. I'll give you the album too. All right. Clean all version. Right. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You were just nominated for two American Music Awards. Yes. Best Hip Hop Best Hip Hop Album. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I can't tell you. I mean, we, of course, wanted to do this, but to change your schedule around to be here. Thank you so much. Wow, where are you going to put that mic? I don't know, Ellen. It just fell. Oh, well, there's not a lot of places to put it, really. I know. OK. Now, now that I see you close up. Uh, <laughs> hi, Nikki. Hi, Elle. The last time you were here, uh, you surprised Sophia Grace and, uh, and Rosie. Yeah. And that particular uh, video has been viewed over 40 million times on YouTube. What? Just that little surprise moment. I'm so glad you came and did that that day, because it really did mean the world to them. It was the it was such a memorable moment for me too. Like it, I really kept thinking about it when we left, and that's why I was reaching out. And we speak, we still actually speak to our dad. Yeah, I mean yeah. they're really amazing. That was new to us too. When they came on the show and they sang your song, I was like, first of all, it's impressive. Right. And and then then we surprised them with you. And do you? How do you feel about like because you have young fans like that, and your yeah. lyrics are pretty explicit. Yeah. How do you <laughs> how do you deal with that? Um, you know what? I'm realizing that I don't have to deal with it. I'm not their parents. I can all... I... <laughs> but, um, I, I can only give advice, and you guys know I always give my young little ladybugs my, my, my most precious advice, which right. is to stay a child, don't rush to grow up. You know, the good thing about my album is that we always make it in a clean version. So, um, really, I know your show doesn't play curses. No, we don't. Right. No. So they don't have to worry about it. They watch it on Ellen, and they'll get the good version. Right, exactly. Now, um, another thing, your, your career has really just you know, exploded. Uh, and to come from uh, really no money, right? You didn't have money growing up. No, no I money. did not. So to have a whole bunch of money now, how has that affected you? How are you dealing with that? Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm still not like a big spender. No? No. What, I do, you, what do you spend money on? Only on other people. Like, really? Yeah, I love buying other people's stuff. And because when I buy myself stuff, I feel like I don't really need this. You know, why am I getting it? So it's like, I just bought my best friend's um, Range Rovers, and they're really excited about that. I bet they are. <laughs> yeah. I, I consider us friends. I just want to say, <laughs> anyway. You know I drove from Malibu today? To see me? Uh, yes, I, I drove. I haven't dro driven in like months. And um, it was such a relaxing drive because I don't get mo motion sickness when I'm driving. So right. I said, this time I'm going to drive. Because you have to go over those like uh, Ansel yeah. Canyon or whatever, right? Yeah. And, and I, now when you, when you go out, do you get bothered a lot? Or are you able to just drive and do stuff? Not in the pink car. Everyone is taping me, like filming me alongside the highway. People are like willing to have an 
accident. A girl literally cut through traffic and made a U-turn just to put her car in front of my car so she could take a picture. That's, that's dangerous. It, it, yeah. Yeah. So I it's was, the pink car that gets a lot of attention. Well, yeah, but even like, remember, well, someone, was, one of your producers, they were like, yeah, Ellen um, gets that when she goes to a restaurant. Because I went to a restaurant the other day in Malibu, and I was like, well, we'll be good. So I was looking so raggedy. Oh my God, like I had on a hoodie, shades, <laughs> crazy. And some little girl came up to me, and I was like, no, please, it's not me. Yeah. You know, because you can't say no. So I, had, I was like, you know, let me take the picture for you, and I'll email it to you. And she's like, promise? And I said, yes, and I send it to her. Well, that was a, I was gonna ask you that. So you don't go out dressed like this, so people wouldn't recognize you probably because you probably look very different, right? Yeah. Like you have a shirt on or something like that. You know what, Ellen? <laughs> I'm fully clothed, Ellen. <laughs> well, it's just not buttoned up, but it's, I know. You, you know what, if this is gonna make you feel better, Ellen, no, no, I, I, I love the way you dress. I think it's great. We match. Yeah, we do match. I have what you have on underneath this. So, uh... <laughs> here's, here's what I'm flattered about. I'm flattered that I'm in a lyric of one of your songs. When you see when you me on see Ellen, me... just admit that I'm winning. When you see me on Ellen, just admit that I'm winning. I... <laughs> I'm in a Nicki Minaj song. I'm flattered by that. If I ever write a song, I'm gonna write a song with you in it, too. What would you say? I don't know yet, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have an idea, Ellen? No, I mean... Not yet, but uh, by the end of the show, I will. Um, hey, let's talk about who you're dating. Um, so, <laughs> you're not wearing it right now, but there's been like a wedding ring on your finger. I've seen photos of it, <laughs> and I'm just wondering why you're not wearing it today. Who is it? What happened? Who did you kiss on New Year's Eve? Answer whichever you want. Uh, <laughs> I don't like to talk about that, Ellen. But you know what, I, that's not a wedding ring. Obviously, I'm not married. No, but you have a boyfriend. Is no. that who you kissed on New Year's Eve? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not who you kissed on New Year's Eve? No, I kissed someone else. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, I kissed my barbs, Ellen. Uh -huh. That's the, those are the loves of my life. No, I don't, I don't have anyone. Yes, you do. Look at the way you're saying it. No. Anyway, it must be like, he's gotta be a strong guy to be able to, <laughs> to deal with. Seriously, right? Yeah, it has to be a strong person. It has to be someone very secure because it's so easy to feel insecure when you got. Because you're very powerful. What would his name be if there was a guy? What would he, what would you call a guy like that? I would call him. Um. <laughs> oh. All right, that's all right. You don't attend. <laughs>you've got on. Don't start. Uh, what do you mean, don't start? Don't start. How can I not start on that? <laughs> it's very nice. Thank you. You just wanted to button one button? You just thought yeah, that was good? Yeah, I thought that. I mean, for Ellen. All I mean, right. nobody else gets this kind of treatment. Right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> we sprayed them, but we're not gonna let you know where. You're gonna have to find out. <clears throat> Okay. Let us know. Oh my God. Where Are your you perfume serious? is. Okay. Are you gonna lead me to them? Mm hmm. Find out where we sprayed on him. I think right here. Is that right? No. Oh, wait. Oh, right here. Yes. Yes. All right. Wait, are you ready? I think he's ready. <laughs> I can't. Wait. <laughs> oh 
Oh my God. Let's move to the next one. <laughs> really? Why? Because. <laughs> Right here? No. Is it? Turn right here? Turn him around. Oh, I gotta. Oh my God. Cause you know what? You mix some other stuff with my perfume. I can smell other stuff. Cause don't, don't, don't no. mix stuff with it. He's guiding you to it. Okay, right. okay, guide me one more time. Lower. so conservative and and <laughs> you did that Thank on you. purpose yes i did i've never seen you dress so good that must rip off in a second or no, something no 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 it does not yeah because the last time you were here you you had a whole different thing going on and then you walk out like that yeah and then it inspired me and then i was you for halloween right yeah it was great <laughs> you look amazing Oh my. <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah. I try to do everything you do. <laughs> You're my hero. Yes. Yeah. I'm serious. I can't believe it, that you even own an outfit like that. Well, I do, Ellen. I'm not some crazy person, you know? No, I don't think you're crazy. I think you're very smart, and I think you're Thank talented. You. Thank and, you. But I just have never seen you dress like that. So here's what's gonna happen. Nikki and I are gonna take turns, and we're gonna uh, say a word that refers to the famous body part of yours. Well, there's a lot of famous body parts, I guess. <laughs> um, the, the backside. And so I'll start, and then we'll go back and forth until one of us is stumped. OK. OK? Um, and we cannot repeat a word. Okay. So I will start. Oh, um, derriere. But. Uh, Moneymaker. Rump. Rear end. Hiney. Buttocks. Tush. Uh, Badunkadunk. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Apple bottom. Fanny. Um, took us. <laughs> if you're Jewish. I feel like I said that one though, but You didn't okay. say took us. Um, um, booty. Um, uh. <laughs> Buns. You're cheating, you're looking at people in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Rear end. I think I said rear end. No, you did not. <laughs> nope, didn't say it. Gluteus maximus. <laughs> Posterior. <laughs> Roll coin. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you just make up, Ellen? Nothing can. 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 That's not no word. Yeah, they ask people go kick you in your can. <laughs> I've never. Yeah. Caboose. <laughs> <laughs> tail feather. Oh, come on, Ellen. Shake your tail feather. <laughs> Junk in a trunk. Yeah. When you have um, the, the, the album, first of all, the songs I've heard, because I haven't heard all of them, because yeah. there's still some that you have not let me hear yet. Right. But um, there seems to be a lot of um, stuff about relationship. There's, a, there's like Bed of Lies, mm -hmm. there's other things, Pills and Potions, right? All mm -hmm. the, so is something going on that you'd like to talk to me about? Um. <laughs> How are you doing? You okay? You know what? I'm really happy. Okay. I'm really, really happy, and I think that's 
what it's all about, right? It so, is. And it's all about being happy. I, I can't. Thank you. I wouldn't. I just, I just feel like sometimes you don't know why something crazy or 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 um, difficult or emotional is happening in your life until you are able to use it to like help other people or use it to be therapeutic to yourself and to grow from it. And now I realize why I had so so much of an emotional year. Yeah. I mean, I was writing my album and I think I needed to grow as a human being. And now because of it, I just feel like better. I feel more peaceful. I feel like I've gotten rid of things that were not healthy for me. Good. You know what I mean? And that's all you could really hope for, right? Yeah. You <laughs> listen. I am so glad that you're feeling peaceful. You know how much I love you. I have a gift for you. Oh my it's, god. It's just a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> But have you had sleepovers yet, or is it just? We have. You've had sleepovers? Yep. Does he come to your house, or do you go to his house? I go to him. Yeah? How come? Because. Uh, you have a better house? Well, I don't know. I just thought, you know, him coming to me was too forward. I see. I see. And then you're in control, too. If you go to his house, you can leave Exa whenever you want. Oh, my god. Yeah, I know how it goes. Yeah. She is so, yeah. I love her. Yeah. This is why yeah. I love Ellen. She's so smart, yes. Yeah. That's why you can leave. You can't, if they're ho over, it's hard to, oh, well, you should right. go. Right, you know? right. No, it's, isn't that true? Isn't that true, yeah. ladies? Yeah. But no, let me clarify, because I know people are going to think, no. What? Uh, we di what? <laughs> we didn't do the. Nasty? Yeah. Yeah. But Andy, we're just getting the good stuff. I'm not taking a break yet. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Uh, uh, why, you we didn't, didn't because you no know, because I wanted I'm you know I'm just chilling right now I'm celibate and I wanted to go a year without me, you know d dating any man I hate men. Um, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, no, with Drake I've never I've never been in a relationship with no? Drake. Okay, who's new boy? There is new boy, right? Hmm. I, I have my people. I know, I, how do you know? How do you get these? Uh, I know who's giving it. I know he's giving this information to you, Ellen. I don't even talk to him. Whatever. I have her. No. Um, there's well, there was, there was, there's a new boy, but he and I have kind of like fell back a little bit. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like a newer, oh, there's a newer boy. So there, there's a newer new boy. Yeah. How new is this new boy? Like fairly new. As long as the hair has been on your head. <laughs> no. All right. He's 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 been around for a couple weeks now. All right. Hmm. We're but I don't. But I don't have a boy. Look, I'm just chilling. I've always been in a relationship my whole life. I was in a relationship since I was 15 years old. This is the first time that I'm single and I'm happier. I'm more free and yeah. Okay. Good. All right. I, I used to feel like I had to have a man. I swear, my whole adult life, I used to feel like I had to have a man. And I want every woman out here to know, you absolutely don't. You can go <laughs> Amen, sister. I want, I want women to know also, you don't need a man. 